Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. I like recently been changing my life since you know, like we last spoke. You've always been like honest with me, and like put me in my place. Yeah. You know what I mean? In like the most motherly, kind way. That's why I love you so much. Cause even when I was going through my darkest times, like you never used that against me. You know what I mean? And that's how you know that the love is like genuine and it's yeah. always gonna be there. You know, and I'm always being free, like straight up. You can call my phone whenever. I'm so serious. And I think I'm gonna be back and forth from New York, so I'm gonna be coming to see you more. Well, my real name is Wendy Hunter. Hunter. So, <clears throat> let's get on this topic. Wendy Williams and the Black China interview, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love Wendy Williams because it's almost like if she was the broadcast of everything that's black and she gave us the news, like everything about our black culture and things like that. I love Wendy for that. Even though, you know, she can seem kind of, you know, messy. But, but it's we, entertainment, so. Right. People love controversy, so I think she brought that. And she, I, me, I feel like she, she say the things that we are thinking and want right. to say. But yeah. she, she come out and just say it. You know, some people scared to say she wasn't scared. It's more bold with it, and more what the yeah, they would call it bold now for yeah. uh, a lot of uh, African American women. They call us bold instead of saying, "Oh, well, she's she's this and she's that." I think being a a person that took care of all times of dementia care facility um people in an all times dementia care facility mm -hmm. i think a lot of people get it misunderstood mm -hmm. that she has a short-term memory so that's why she can still hire people that's why she can still <clears throat> but think about these long conversations I, with people but at the same time i still feel in in the same sentence that she's in the midst of like okay just picture this you had mm -hmm. money and you lost your mind and then somebody started taking over your money and finances. But then you got her son and he's saying, hey, he's advocating for his mom saying, my mom don't have control and they take yeah. control. And right now she's in and out. Like she's fighting when she's in to me. That as what I seen, like as I view, she's fighting when she's here. But then when she's out, she's out. So she's going in and out. Like, mm -hmm. but when, she, when Wendy is showing up present in her body, she's trying to fight. That's why I feel like she's flicking on and off. What you think? Um, like what you think like I mean I know it's dementia but like what you think as far as in the whole situation yeah it's kind of messed up and then at the same time I understand it so mm -hmm. I meant like she said I work with uh, the elderly yeah. you know people you know and they're they're with you <clears throat> they just yeah. it's only certain things that they can remember mm -hmm. and that's why she went back to her maiden name because that's what she remembered herself as yeah. so I mean, that's something that's out of everybody's control. That's something that is no cure for. It's nothing you can do about it. But we all know that she was doing drugs. But that 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 didn't lead to that. But we all do know that because she mm -hmm. did fall out. Yes. And she did that. I mean, she had to go to a rehab and all that kind of stuff. You know, we mm -hmm. just seen her take a downfall. Mm -hmm. We just seen the process. That's just all it is. Now, when I say um, dementia, I'm going to give y'all the definition from Google. Uh, it's required a medical, medical diagnosis. It's symptoms including um, forgetfulness, uh, limited social skills, and thinking abilities uh, so impaired that it interferes with daily functioning. Now, I did hear on the podcast... I don't know if it's true or not, that most people who catch dementia did have quite a messy or uh, or uh, uh, a life where it wasn't as easy. Yeah. I'm going to say that. Most women had, have that have dementia. Yeah. yeah. Most they catch women, it. it's mostly So women. do you think it's a spiritual thing, like, type? Like, this nah. what you get? I, I think that's, no, it's, it's your it, brain. It's, yeah. it's, got, it's something to do with your brain. It was very common. It comes more so with old age. Yes. I learned that more so with the uh, learning it, like with the teaching in it. I learned a lot. I did a lot of research in it because with old age, you you can end up with dementia or Alzheimer's, which right. dementia is short term, Alzheimer's is long term. Right. Mm -hmm. See, what the misconception is with Wendy is they think, oh, well, is it 
is it a root on her? Is it this? Is it that? And it's not that Mm-mm. because with old age, that's going to basically happen to most. I personally, people. because I'm a spiritual right. person, I think of outside the box. I think that it's a spiritual thing. I believe that the way you live your life is what you kind of end it. And I believe, not saying, I, I, I would, I, this is just my perspective, my opinion. But I believe that the way you live it is how it ends. So you're older and how you are. Even though that it's beautiful to us, it's entertaining to us. But, but it still messes her up. Karma? In a, who said who who it's are we not? It's it's it. not. Who but I said it's saying? my opinion mm-hmm. of what I right. believe in because I yeah. am a spiritual person. So in my aspect and more spiritual people, we see a different side. Like y'all see it scientifically. Y'all see diagnosis. I see that it's the way that you live. So moving so, forward for bloggers and vloggers, if you don't want, you know, to be in that situation, I think you have to be careful what you're saying and how you well, speak your life. Well, that means everybody going to have some kind of bad karma because we all do something. That's, that's mm-hmm. correct. That's what I'm saying. That's so we, we can't say that just because she was being messy, that something, just because you being messy, we all know that right. if you don't live your life, you know, genuine and pure on the inside, that nothing good gonna come from it. But at the same time, that might not be her karma because them legs were swole before that too. So but she been going through a lot of but, health issues. I, but, and but drugs that, do play a drugs, part yeah, in that. So say, we, cannot, drugs some, you know, we cannot take that away from it. But when you live in a life like that, it's hard to keep up with your health anyway. Right. Yeah. You moving fast. Uh-huh. And so I feel like she just didn't take out the time to really pay attention to what's going on because she could have got ahead of this ahead of time. Right. But like I said, her life moving so fast that yeah, she, she did, wasn't paying attention to a lot of these things. That's why she passed out on the stage. She probably wasn't mind, eating, drinking, none of these things. And that's what happened. Yeah. But in my mind... I feel like, in my perspective, we all have a choice as well. Mm-hmm. Regardless who you are, what your background is, how popular you are, if other people are doing what they see, then they're going to continue to do what they see. And no one is going to stop what's, what went wrong about Wendy. We're not going to say, oh, well, we know Wendy going through this and Wendy going through that. Mm-hmm. And, but the what went wrong was how she chose to live her life for the people. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like it's an outcome with it. So people and vloggers and vloggers and people who do this and being controlled to, you know, have missed more than anything. They kind of turn know out her as in a that person, way. So I can't say because that's her job. I don't know. Her that as a was person her either. job. So I don't know her outside of the podcast because people will think about on a different persona on yeah. the podcast and then or, or, or right. anything just like a rapper or mm-hmm. an actress or an actor people have a job to do you know some people put on the character we don't know her outside of that because it's people that say that she's a great person right. outside of that so i can't say and that. some people that speaks and say they don't like her yeah. you know I, and i feel like we really <clears throat> we just have to Make sure y'all uh, you know let us saying? know. You know, get in the yeah. comments and let let us know what y'all think. What do about What do y'all think? Y'all we show, uh, we have three perspective, different perspectives sure. right here. Um, I'm a spiritual person. They're scientific, you know, and um, I feel like that. You know, what I'm saying this is my perspective of it, and this is the way I see things when it comes to my. If I, if I have anything to say for my overall, mm-hmm. my overall is to say that be careful how you live your life regardless if they popular regardless if they are actor or actress because your turnout can be different like you see a lot of people want to be famous but you know it happens like this so mm-hmm. what y'all think on y'all perspective yeah you make sure you comments. get in the comments yeah yeah and this has been another great great episode, episode on what boss talk 101 prime time on the come up make sure you go <laughs> like follow and subscribe get in them comments yeah let us know your perspective and what you think thanks yeah we on boss talk tv shout out to e the reason you see